Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and thank you for joining me for night prayer for Monday, May the 16th, 2011. It's week four in Easter. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 44, verse 20 to 26. Colossians chapter 1, verse 1 through 14. And a canticle from Tobit, chapter 13, verse 1 through 4. Our help is in the name of the God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. You know the secrets of our hearts. Alleluia. Psalm 44. Had we forgotten your name, O God, or stretched out our hands to another God, would you not have found this out, you who know the secrets of the heart? It is for you that we face death all day long and are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, <clears> O <throat> Most High, why do you sleep? Rise, do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our oppression and misery? For we are brought down low to the dust. Our body lies prostrate on the earth. Stand up and come to our help. Redeem us because of your love. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. You know the secrets of our hearts. Alleluia. The lesson is from Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. From Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God and our brother Timothy, to the holy and faithful sisters and brothers in the Christ at Colossae, grace and peace to you from our loving God. We always give thanks to Abba God of our Savior Jesus Christ whenever we pray for you. Ever since we heard about your faith in Jesus Christ and the love you show towards all the holy ones, because of the hope stored up for you in heaven. It is only recently that you heard of this when it was announced in the message of the truth. The good news which has reached you is spreading all over the world. It is producing the same fruit there as it did among you ever since you heard about God's grace and understood what it really is. Epaphras, who taught you, is one of our closest co-workers and a faithful laborer of Christ on our behalf. And it was he who told us all about your love in the Spirit. Therefore, since the day we heard about you, we have been praying for you unceasingly and asking that you attain the full knowledge of God's will in perfect wisdom and spiritual understanding. Then you will lead a life worthy and pleasing to our God in every way. You will multiply good works of every sort and grow in the knowledge of God by the might of God's glory, you will be endowed with the strength needed to stand fast and to endure joyfully whatever may happen. Thanks be to God for having made you worthy to share in the inheritance of the Holy Ones in the light. God rescued us from the authority of darkness and brought us into the reign of Jesus, God's only begotten. And it is through Jesus that we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread and forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, blessed are you who live forever. Tobit's thanksgiving to God. Blessed are you who live forever, because your kingdom lasts throughout all ages. For you afflict and you show mercy. You lead down to Hades in the lowest regions of the earth, and you bring up from the great abyss, and there is nothing that can escape your hand. Acknowledge the Most High before the nations, O children of Israel, for God has scattered you among them. God has shown you greatness even there. Exalt the Most High in the presence of every living being. Because the Most High is our Sovereign, and the Most High is our God, God is our parent, and God is God forever. Glory to you, Source of all being, Eternal Word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you who live forever. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. Bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>